Howdy folks, Mikey McKernan here, AKA Boo Ha Man, AKA Is Not Funny. Welcome to another stand-up adventure vlogs with your host, me. Tonight, I am co-headlining at the Rec Room in Huntington Beach, California. I'm excited, per usual. I'm actually co-headlining with my buddy Dakota Friedman. He actually does know as a recording of this, I'm gonna ask him like, hey Dakota, would you please be on the vlog with me? That would be super cool. Before we go do stand-up comedy, cause that's what this whole thing's supposed to be about, even though I like to do lots of adventures that take up most of the time of the video, but you're into it, right? You're into it, right? What's there to see in Huntington Beach? Mm, I don't know, we're going surfing! Just kidding, we're not going surfing. I am not jumping in no water before any of my stand-up comedy, especially if I don't have a place to, you know, shower, recuperate from all that. That ain't gonna freaking happen. What are we gonna do? There's only one place to visit. International Surfing Museum. Art Deco little building, you see this? So gorgeous. This used to be the first ever church in Huntington Beach. So check it out. Yeah. Wrapped up gum in there. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I always save my wrapper. Yeah, that's a good habit to have. I came on not the greatest day only because they are redoing the museum. So everything's kind of on the floor. Kind of a bummer, but I look at the evolution of the surfboard. 12 to 16 feet to 5, 4 to 6, 3. This is amazing. Look at the original pier was constructed in 1914 and they got a block of it. That's amazing. They have so many old surfboards here. 1925-10 cedar plank. Okay, this is parts dedicated to the Huntington Beach Surf Shops. Look at that jacket, those jackets. Ugh. Came on a bad day, came on a bad day. I know I like coming down to the rec room. Make sure we come back here again and check this stuff out. So what I just learned from Terry, he's the guy who's the curating this, he was talking to some people when I first walked in, is that they just have different rotating exhibits. And so this is OP's Pro 40th anniversary. That's what this is. That's why every one of these say, OP Pro 40th anniversary. And they're going over different people. Like look at Tom Curran, this is his actual board model right there. The champions for the women's. This is freaking cool. Of course, the OP junior, Kelly Slater. He became one of the biggest surfers in the history of surfing. That's who I always knew, Kelly Slater. I tried, I had friends who surfed, but I just wasn't very good. I never stood up and rode a wave. Probably because when I was a kid, my best friend David, his parents took us, we went boogie boarding. I know you don't want to hear that word in here, but guess what? There's a boogie board right there. But I remember the one guy I liked was Rob Machado. He was cool. He had a big old afro and big schnoz and he was just, he seemed like, yeah, it was pretty cool. So I always liked that. Plus like my friend who got me into surfing, that was his favorite guy. And then we have art over here. Surf art corner. Nice. And then there's Finding California. That was the one that was here last. That was cool. Sorry, I was wrong. It was a hospital in the 1930s, he said. It was a dive bar and a venue in Red Hot Chili Peppers performed here too. That's Terry, he told me all this information. Sweet mural they got. Of course, we wanna see murals and artwork always. The International Surf Museum was created in 1987 by a lady named Natalie Koch. She actually was not a surfer. She's a lady from Canada. And she was just a fan, but she's like, hey, come on, you can enjoy surfing. And I want to recognize all the history that surfing has because this is Surf City USA, which is hilarious to me. That's so funny. Also here is that they got world records as well. How about the world's largest surfboard? Yeah, I don't know if you could tell, but that thing is ginormous, all right? This just gives you an idea. 42 feet long, 11 feet wide, 16 inches thick, and it's 1,300 pounds. 66 riders caught away for 12 seconds. International Serving Day 2015. Yeah. I mean, 
like when I just read that on the internet, I was like, have to come here and check that out. See, me right there. Surf City, USA, Huntington Beach, California. Surf City, USA, it's really funny because in 1991, that's what they donned themselves. And then 1997, it was actually registered as a historical city as Surf City, USA, even though Santa Cruz, California would debate that it's also Surf City, USA, but surfcityusa.com, right? It's not official until you get the .com. Does everybody agree with me on that one? Shaka, shout out to Terry. That was freaking cool. I love this museum. Please, if you ever come to Huntington Beach, Beach. It's just a small donation. I only donated three bucks right there. Come to the International Surf Museum. Let's see if there's any statues we can find. So be entertained now. The man. This right here is a Surfers Hall of Fame. Can you see it? <laughs> Rob Machado. They do a lot of surfing competitions here too as well. Looks like here is the world champ 2022. Philippe Torzido. Toledo? Oh, I butchered that. The Surfers Walk of Fame. Nice. See, look at Jack's Surf Shop. This is Jack's Surf Shop, by the way. I don't know if you know this, but it's internationally famous right here. But yeah, on the street, they got here the Surfers Walk of Fame. Noise. But here we go, Lee. There's the honor roll. I'm not going to go look for Ron Machado's. Luckily, we found it on the Surfers Hall of Fame, but this is cool. Look at I was there. Got to do the selfie for prosperity. Walk of Fame. Hair blowing in the wind. Yes, I got my headphones on because I'm ta currently talking to somebody on the phone. This big old art sculpture of this guy surfing he's actually naked surfing that's i i wasn't prepared for that that's a straight bum right there can you see it <laughs> nice surf city usa i come to see like this iconic sculpture edmund shumpert 1976 same dude did uh, the duke did the duke statue that we are always just filming where the where all the the handprints for the Surfers Hall of Fame is. Had to come check this one out. This one's huge. This one's way taller than me. Naked Surfer. I'm gonna call it that one. You're a naked surfer. I'm gonna go do stand-up comedy now. Time to go do the funny. So let's get into the yucks. All right, we're here. We're at the gig. Do you like the glow of my face from the gig? Right here, boom! Can you see that? The rec room. No, you can't because there it is. Now you can see it, the rec room. It's changing lights. In the same building as, that says off the wall right there. That's where that is. Food, social drink. It's like a Dave and Buster's Chuck E. Cheese vibe. There's <laughs> games to play everywhere. There's a bar, they got a bowling alley. It's happening. And what's very ironic is there's the the showroom where the rec room the comedy club is in it's not happening there currently three audience members in there and i'm learning that i'm doing 30 minutes tonight <laughs> Ooh, i gotta have my stuff memorized but i'm gonna take my time 30 minutes tonight for hopefully more than three people gonna be tough tonight I am absolutely prepared for this I do have jokes I know I want to tell that I'll get to 30 minutes but I'm gonna have to think about it this is gonna be rough this is what's fun you know I haven't been doing as much comedy as I wish I was and then boom 30 minutes you better be prepared you want to be a real comedian you better be prepared but I keep having tough times because I'm not doing a lot of comedy and for some reason I can't get all the jokes in my head right I'm always like thinking and this and that but I'm not tonight no show you what off the wall is and then what this fun place is and then uh show you the room and then we're gonna do some comedy let's go meet dakota as well games 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 playing games playing games i want to yell over the copyrighted music so they don't take this off bowling alley nice bar lots of tv comedy comedy can't you see how obnoxious i am trying to talk over the copyrighted music let's go look at what it looks like in there you guys ready yeah this is it shout out to all my friends right here who came to the show all right 
We're here. I'm with my pal, Dakota Freeman. Hey, hey, it's me. I like that. That was a great entrance. Dakota invited me to come co-headline with him. So yeah. I'm like, hey, why don't you come get on the vlog and spill your guts about how this show's going to go. So how are you feeling about it? Feeling all right. It's an intimate uh, crowd tonight, but we're going we're gonna to sling the jokes and uh, hopefully we'll get some yucks and uh, people will have a good time. We're living the dream. Humble beginnings. Humble beginnings. This is a nightmare, okay? <laughs> don't listen to my friend here actually listen to him but this is tough we're gonna do longer sets to not that many people but that's a challenge but you know what you buy the ticket you take the ride take right the ride take the ride this is it do you have anything else to say one one couple said they were hoping somebody will be mean to them or something so maybe we'll be super aggressive i'm ready to crush it tonight look at this guy yes you are yeah all right let's get in there and do it <laughs> let's get into it i have a lot of anxiety i get, I get overwhelmed very easily with my little things like if i'm in a restaurant and ask for a Coke, and the waiter replies, is Pepsi okay? I say no, <laughs> and I get up, and I walk straight into oncoming traffic. <laughs> it's the only way I know how to cope. <laughs> and I, I get anxiety flying, I don't like flying, I don't like uh, uh, airplanes. Uh, one time I was in an airplane, and uh, I was terrified, and I just heard this kid say, I love flying. I was like, you have no idea what you're talking about. We could crash, this plane could, could explode. I heard another kid in the aisle because I had so much BO from the fear of flying. I heard another kid say, Mom, somebody smells really weird. I'm like, I'll fight every little kid on this plane right now. <laughs> I'm like, I'm fuck. Uh, I think a good way to punish white supremacy is to make it to where they can only order one thing at Taco Bell. It's called the White Supreme. <laughs> Burrito filled with only sour cream. That's all it has. That's all it has. I don't know. I, uh, I go to green party, which uh, normally when you tell people that, they just kick you in the balls as hard as they can. And they're like, you're the problem. You're the problem. I'm like, I'm just anti-war. Sorry. I voted for a treat. I'm useless. <laughs> Some people think are like obsessed with Joe Biden, which I also think is weird. It's like having a pet rock as president. You're just like, come on. Say something. <laughs> Yeah. And then when they do say something, you're like, please don't say anything. Don't say anything. <laughs> you can just be quiet. It's good. We're good. Dakota! Yeah! What did you think of the show, man? It was good. We, 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 had, we had like 10 people, 8 people. 11. 11. I, counted, 11 people. I counted 11. I count them every time. And they were, they were my, small but mighty. They were laughing. They were having a good time. I don't think they hated us. They did not hate us. So, they enjoyed it. The people who were there really enjoyed it. You had a great set, man. Thank you. How did it feel? How did your set feel? It felt good. I'm, I'm a nobody. I did I did my time and people were into it. So I was like, all right, this is a good barometer of where I'm at right now. <laughs> Jokes that you really enjoyed? It's not super political. It's more silly political stuff. But just because uh, it feels validating when people laugh, so I'm like, oh, wow, they, they're on maybe the same page as me, which I haven't experienced a lot of my life. Hilarious. So. That's because you're a punk rocker. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you again so much for inviting me to come do this with you. I'm glad we got to lift some work tonight. We're yeah. like, oh, what, 11 people? Bring it on. We're doing 30s right here, people. Plug your stuff, please. Uh, yeah, you could uh, follow uh, me on Instagram, Dakota Comedy Master. I also make cartoons and comics. Uh, follow nice. Dakota Cartoon on Instagram. Make animations, comic books, all that. Yes. Yeah. Dude, thank you again, man. Thank you. No, I apologize. I'm a little down right now. That's because I just finally got the courage to cut off one of my best friends. And then he died. Yeah, that's the last time I'm going rock climbing. <laughs> I wish I could drink, but I don't have a lot of money. Last time I got really drunk and I got the bill, it was more than I had in my bank account. I woke up the next morning hungover draft. <laughs> I worked at a seafood restaurant where we had to come outside and be like, hey folks, not only do we have seafood, we got land food. <laughs> I didn't do the catchphrase there, okay? Don't worry. That would have been embarrassing. I'm so glad I'm not working there right now because it's Halloween time, which is, I love the spooky season, but it's the Halloween horror nights. Anybody go over there? Yeah, when you have to wait tables, we call it Halloween horrible nights. Party of 14 goths coming in, split checks. <laughs> Sorry, I don't even call you gods. I know you're into horror. <laughs> All right, couple without the catchphrase. You guys are ready to get out of here. I understand. Don't worry. I'm the last one. <laughs> Got a lot of friends who are like, hey, Mikey, 
we're finally experimenting in free love. We're sleeping with each other and all our friends. I said, no, you're just mispronouncing cocaine. <laughs> That's what you're doing. You're doing a lot of blow and you're humping each other. I call it blow because that's what it does to your flame. I know, anti-cocaine jokes in Huntington Beach, this is your Friday night. <laughs> I can't believe this many people are actually off the internet. This is amazing. <laughs> Thank you for not supporting the masturbation economy for one night. Yes, see, I... It's I'm, hard. It's, it's hard. really hard. Yeah, it's really hard not to touch one yourself. Time. I, you know, one, one, one day at a time. I'm so, look at this is somebody actually coming to grips with their porn habit. I'm so glad you're getting better. You know, you're, you're finally like, yeah, we're going to get better, all hands on. You know what? No, we're trying to get hands off. That's what we're trying to do. Hands off the dicks. This is sucking dick for quarters, right? I love that you... It's a different challenge every day. Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, I mean, of course we're going to find you a place with all these arcade games. I don't know if you know, there's, they don't take quarters anymore. They don't take cards. Now you gotta do the credit card? Yeah. All right. We have a lot of fun here. This is... They're like, hey, come watch Dakota and Mikey do 30 minutes to pack the crowd of empty chairs. It's gonna be good. It's nine of us, man. I don't think about we're here. I counted 11, but I appreciate you bringing us down more. It's really funny too, I grew up playing ice hockey my whole life in Southern California, which is ironic. And that's the reason why I'm an atheist. I asked my mom, why don't we go to church on Sundays? She said, you play hockey. Do you want to miss that? Nope. <laughs> Hail Sagan. <laughs> All right, just got done doing 30 minutes for 11 people. That was, uh, it actually was good. You have to just absolutely let go of all that fear and anxiety that you have because you wish there was more audience members. But paying customers, you got to deliver. And I did, I did 31 minutes. I enjoyed it, did a lot of riffing, talked about Halloween. I actually had fun. There were some lulls, you know, and it's hard because when you're talking for so long and they get a little lulls, you know, you kind of like, I'm a little low energy. And I mumble and I'm like, stop, you gotta be on. Constantly, always. I know my face keeps getting out of focus because I got this neon, but I like it on my face. This was good. It was fun to co headline with my buddy Dakota. Dakota is a really sweet gent. He's always told me, like, you know, man, like, I look up to you. I appreciate that. So it's always, you know, he asked me to do the gig. So I super, super appreciate that. I'm very grateful. And I'm glad we got to do some work because we're like, yo, 30 minutes for 11 people. This is tough. But hey, you know what? Let's just go out and try to have a good show because that's all we can do is have a good time. And we did. We enjoyed it. Had some hey yucks. But that's it for tonight another stand-up adventure vlog in the book of youtube thank you so much for clicking for liking for subscribing please if you know anybody who will enjoy these videos please share them tell them he's got some fun adventures and some funny uh, yucks some funny uh, please follow me on instagram i'm very interactive there link down below i do sell merch on the internet link down below also my website for tickets to shows link down below i'll also have the dates where i'm at links to hopefully tickets hopefully to the best information where you can find the location sometimes these places don't have ticket links sometimes these places don't have really clear where the show's at thank you thank you thank you one love if you call this famous that really hurts but i appreciate it <laughs>